today is called Meet Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire, which is at the same time Vulcan because he was living in a volcano according to the myth. And for those who really have investigated about myths, they know that some truth can be found in those myths. You have to research and draw your own conclusions the same way that you will have to research and draw your own conclusions with what I'm bringing to you. It is just offered as informational video. The source of what I'm about to tell you is Greek mythology gods Olympians. I will put the link in the video description. It is because previously um, I was discussing with somebody about a psychopathic fallen god with a little g. And my comment was as following. Reminds me of Era creating the god of fire whose father was not Zeus. The story goes like this. Hephaestus. Hephaestus is the son of Zeus and Era. Sometimes it is said that Era alone produced him and that he has, he has no father. Just a little too loud. Let me just uh, adjust this. He is the only god to be physically ugly. He is also lame. Accounts as to how he became lame vary. Some say that Era, upset by having an ugly child, flung him from Mount Olympus into the sea, breaking his legs. Others that he took, Era said, in an argument with Zeus, and Zeus flung him from Mount Olympus. He is the god of fire and the forge. He is the smith and armorer of the gods. So he is provide according to the myth. He is the smith and armorer of the gods with the S. So he provides the arms to the gods. He uses a volcano as his forge. I just want to make a little mention that uh, the image of hell can be compared to an image of a volcano, an image of a forge inside a volcano. Is the patron god of both smiths and web weavers. He is well, kind and peace loving. I must read the whole thing, even though I don't think he is peace loving and kind. But this is not my information. It is coming from Greek mythology gods on Olympians. So um, delivering the, the information as it is. His wife is Aphrodite. Sometimes his wife is identified as Eglea. It's because I have read somewhere that the quote, I am a consuming fire. So I deduct that he must be the god of fire since he is a consum he is himself a consuming fire. Then I was discussing about the Lord with a little L creating demons. He shared a portion of his fire with him. So here are my comments. They are as following. Is this 
Asbestos, the great god of fire, thrown from the Mount Olympus, because his father was not Zeus. While others say that he took Hera aside in an argument with Zeus, and Zeus flung him off Mount Olympus. Could be the case since since Hephaestus is smith and armor of the gods, and he uses the volcano as his forge. Remember Satan between commas because there are many names given to that entity and one of them is Satan can be also uh, Santa Claus that people are celebrating on December 25th but I digress remember Satan between commas cast down from heaven this one was cast down we're talking about Hephaestus, the great god of fire. The Greek god of fire was cast down Mount Olympus, which was the heaven of the Greeks. On page 248 of a Google book titled Satan vs. God, a brief history under Hephaestus or Saturn, it says, to quote, the Balkan was earlier identified with the Roman Vulcan and the Greek Hephaestus. Like Aphrodite said, if you can't stand the heat, stay out of the forge. Could be, of course this is a joke, but it is mentioned in the movie and I want to bring that to your attention as a joke. Could be that the image of hell is coming from the god of fire living in a volcano. Title of it is, uh, I already mentioned, I will mention it again, Satan vs. God, A Brief History, page 248. Now a last comment that is interesting also that I've made and I want to bring to your attention. Since Hera is the mother of Hephaestus, then I wondered if Hera is in fact Sophia. Now look at this. A sketch of an ancient mosaic found in Greece. We have Zeus and Hera here creating the world in almost the exact same posture as God and Sophia. See the same spirits or cherubs bearing him up, representing his creative powers. The same outstretched arm. The female creatrix to his left, just like a bride always stands to the groom's left. Notice also the robe swirling in a circle just like in Michelangelo's painting. So I will also put the link of the source in the video description. And of course, this is just an hypothesis for now. My hypothesis being that since Hera is the mother of Hephaestus, then I wondered if Hera is in fact Sophia and I found this quote from Northern Way Presentations God Wife 38 and I will put the link in the video description. Thanks for listening.